Hey guys, so today what we're going to do is we're going to build a small lab, four routers, couple switches, turn up OSPF and some inner VLAN routing so we can actually go and connect it to my lab network, which is physical at my house. And then we're going to turn it into an Ansible lab. So we're going to start labbing Ansible. Let's go. Okay, so here's the CML lab environment. We're going to click on this lab. And inside here we have an external connector, which is what we use right here, and a unconfigured router named router1. And that connection is port 0, or the only port on the external connector, to gig 0, zero on router1. So let's go ahead and go into this router. Let's boot it up, get into the console, and watch it boot up. What we'll do is we will get past here just a little bit. Once it's fully booted up, I'll let you know. And we'll talk to you then. Okay, so now that router's booted up, we're gonna go ahead and apply a quick configuration. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna type in enable to get to the privilege exec mode and configure T or terminal. Once we're there, we're gonna type in host name. And we're gonna give this name or this router a name. So we're gonna do router underscore one, just to make it simple. We're also going to do a couple other things to make it easier while we're configuring. So we're going to do a line, console zero, logging synchronous, right? Then we're going to do an interface GI00 because that's where we're making that external connection to. And that's going to be an IP address 192.168.0.150 with a slash 24. That's a IP address within the subnet that is in my lab network here at the house. So then we're gonna do a no shut. We're gonna do an exit, an IP default gateway, 192.168.0.1. And then we're gonna do a IP route. Oops, helps if I type a little better. And that's because I want all traffic that it doesn't know what to route out to the external connector. So we're going to do an end. We're going to write the configuration real quick. And we're going to do a ping. Just to the default gateway. All right, we're going to shut this down quick and we're going to boot it right back up. We're going to go here. Going to wipe it. Yes. And just do a bridge. Boot it right back up. See what happens. Okay. See if I can ping now. There we go. So I just had to boot. Okay. So now I have a connection into my lab network. Now my lab network is running OSPF, so we're going to go ahead and get that. Actually, we're gonna do we're gonna do something. Different. Interface GI zero slash zero. There we go. And we're gonna do a IP OSPF one area zero just on that subnet. That way, if I do make it DHCP or change the change the IP address for whatever reason, it maintains that connectivity. And then we're still gonna go into router OSPF, and we're gonna do a a default information originate always because so i want all the traffic of all the virtual devices to come to this router and go out if it doesn't know what to do with it 
I'm going to write that configuration. I should be able to do ping. There we go. All right. So I have connectivity to the outer world. Let's build this network out a little bit more. So we're going to build two more routers. One going this way, one going that way. Yep. Okay, and that's going to be a connection there. A connection there. And we're going to start booting those up a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to run a iOS layer 2. And we're going to just run two switches on each router. Okay. And we're going to boot all of them up while we're waiting. And we make our connections. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to connect to this one here. And then we're going to connect to this one here. We're going to connect to this one here. So really what we're doing is WAN connection, a collapse core, and an access switch is really the theory behind here. Okay, so let's let all those boot up. And while they do that, we're going to name devices. So we're going to do router2, router3, here we're going to do site A, site, eh, site 1, SWA, And we're going to do a site one SWB. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So it's going to be a site two SW one. Oops, A. Try to keep it consistent. Site two SWB. Okay, and all four devices look like they're joined. So we're going to configure these real quick. Okay, so the interfaces on this router, gig zero one goes to router two, and gig zero two goes to router three. Okay, a little weird, but we'll get it. All right, so we're gonna do a config T, interface GI zero slash one, IP address, 10.0.1.1 slash 24 no shut IP OSPF1 area 0 interface GI 0 slash 2 IP address 10.0.2.1 slash 24 again we're just making this simple we're not practicing VLSM or, or subnetting in any way Okay, so that should be distributing OSPF there. Let's go to here. And let's get all these devices terminals ready to be configured. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go to this router here. It's just now getting past all the interface configuration, awesome. And we're gonna set it up pretty much just like we did the other one, except we're gonna have the IP address change just a little bit.
uh, here's something interesting. So I signed an IP address, and then immediately I followed up with IP OSPF area one, no shut. And you see this error right here, where it fared, failed to allocate the router ID. And that's because the interface was down, and I tried to start OSPF. And it came up and it joined. Okay. We're going to write that configuration. I come over here. Do pretty much the exact same config. Should be a two. We're gonna enable the interface first and then do an IP OSPF area one. Oops, ISPOF one area zero. Okay, and that joined full. We're gonna write the config. And that should be good. Okay, now that we got this started here, this is going to be the beginning lab of what we're going to use to start beginning Ansible configurations and pushing out some automation, some different configurations. So the next video, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to configure the, the four switches and hopefully we'll have time to turn up the, the Ansible server. See you next time.